The best tweet I've ever read is from a man who has a way with words. Uh, I was home late one night, just watching my Twitter feed, and Kanye West popped up. Three simple words, life is awesome. I of course retweeted it with thousands of others, and his noble words were sent bouncing around the internet. It's a great question. Uh, it hasn't gone that viral, uh, but it's actually a Huggies commercial that's on YouTube with a baby going through the worst day of his life. He gets fired from his job, the box with all his desk supplies breaks at the bottom, he goes outside and his car gets towed, he drops his keys through the porch at his house, we can't get in. At the very end of the commercial, he lies down in a hammock in his backyard and the sprinkler turns on on him. And the final message is hard day, soft, nappy. And for me, that's a perfect reflection of what the Book of Awesome is all about, which is seeing simple pleasures when you're not feeling that great. I am an internet junkie like uh, most people. Uh, I get home from kneeling over my keyboard at work and I kneel over my keyboard at night. And uh, three of my favorite blogs are postsecret.com, where Frank Warren posts 20 profound anonymous confessions every Sunday. Uh, it's just beautiful, it's striking, it's beautiful art, and really resonates with me and I know a lot of other people. The second blog I really love is dearphotograph.com, where people take a picture of the past and they lay it over a picture of the present. And they say, dear photograph, I remember when I was three years old, and they have a picture of that right in front of a, a current image. And, and the last one is a really small blog by a guy who lives at Winnipeg named David called raptitude.com. The tagline is getting better at being human. And I absolutely love his clairvoyant little essays on daily life. Those three blogs inspire me. They're all positive in the same vein as a thousand awesome things.com. And for me, whenever I'm having a bad day, I turn to one of those three sites and it cheers me up. The slowly loading red pixels of the Yahoo logo when I bust all the way down to the Science Center in high school to check out this cool new thing called the internet, and my friends and I had keen ideas of researching Baywatch, and we weren't able to do it because the internet was just too slow. What's one thing the internet doesn't know about me? I can't swim. I had tubes in my ears when I was a kid. I couldn't see. I had big Coke bottle glasses. When I was 12 years old and I took my first ever swimming lesson, it was me and a bunch of kids who came up to my knees. I was so embarrassed by blowing bubbles in water that I quit immediately. And to this day, I have never mastered the art of treading water. <laughs>